Okay, next thing I'd like to do on this particular page is go ahead and create some hyperlinks, multiple ways to create hyperlinks, but ultimately the objective is that my end user can click on a phrase or an image and that action of clicking on it will take them to either a website that I've made or a web page that I've made or another website. So, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the text that I want to become the hyperlink. In this case, I'm going to go after my navigation bar, and that is link 1. Obviously, your navigation bar would have meaningful words that indicate what type of link it is, etc. Perhaps home, perhaps search engines, perhaps you know science resource 1, whatever. I've highlighted the phrase link 1, and again, multiple ways to create a hyperlink. I'm going to go down to the easiest, which is down here on my property inspector. Notice that I'm in the HTML area because I am looking at adding content. I'm going to come over here to where it says link. Now web links must start with HTTP colon slash slash. That is what's considered a fully qualified web address. So I'm going to create a hyperlink simply to uh, Google. I'm going to start by typing HTTP colon slash slash www.google.com. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, although I could have just alternately clicked away. Once I click away in my page up here, notice that the hyperlink has been created. Now I cannot test it here in my editor, so I'm going to go ahead and save my work by clicking on File and Save and I'm going to preview my work I'm going to go ahead and bring a preview window in right over here just as a refresher from within Dreamweaver to preview this I could have gone to file preview in browser and then chosen a browser I could have come up to my preview in browser icon across my control panel over here Here is my preview area, and once I am ready to preview, all I need to do is click on the actual hyperlink. And I click on it, and it goes out to Google. And that is the first way to create a hyperlink. The second way to create a hyperlink is this. I'm going to get that window ready. It will come right back here in a moment. I'm going to come back into Dreamweaver and here is my link to. Now what happens if I want to link out to something but perhaps the address is a little bit more complex than I want to type in. For example here on this particular page what if I want my link to to go to this particular address. I could copy um, it down on paper and then retype it down here in Dreamweaver but the chance that I get that wrong is higher than not. So the best way to do this is to find the article or find the website that you want to grab, click into its address bar and copy it. You can copy it by doing a control C or you can do a right click and a copy. But that address is now in memory. I'm going to move this off to the side because it is now copied into memory. I'm going to come back into Dreamweaver I'm going to highlight the phrase that I want to become active as that link. I'm going to come down to my linking bar and this time instead of typing it in I'm going to right click and paste. Alternately I could have done a control V. And once again I'm going to hit enter or I could just simply click away. And If I take a look indeed now I have a hyperlink and I'm going to save it and test it. You should always test your hyperlinks because otherwise you're not really sure that they're going to work until they actually get out on the internet. So here I've got my preview. I'm going to go ahead and click on my hyperlink and it should take over this window and indeed it does. So that is the way to create a hyperlink from a longer address. I'm going to move that back out of my way. <clears throat> a little bit of information here in terms of hyperlinking. If I highlight this one more time, 
I want you to understand this is the hyperlink down here. Notice here there is this target feature. If I wanted this window, this hyperlink to open in a separate window from my website, I'm going to choose blank. So that's how we can force that to open in a separate window. I'm going to save that very quickly. I'm going to refresh my preview. Once again, I have created this hyperlink, but the difference here is I've created it so that it will open in its own separate window. Now I am here in Internet Explorer and when I click on it one time, it's going to open this in a whole new window and here it is. So now I've got a separate window from my particular page. Many times when you are doing web design, this is a very common practice if you are linking outside of your own website. However, the most important part of hyperlinking is being consistent. If you're going to create a link that all of your links just take over this particular window, that's fine. Do it consistently. On the other hand, if you're going to create a link where you want it to open in a new, in a new window for external sites, then do all of your external sites in that fashion. So the secret is be consistent with whatever you choose to do. Last, I'm going to do one more type of hyperlink and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to type in a phrase that says email me at and I'm going to go ahead and hyperlink this phrase to be something that actually is a hyperlink to an email address now hyperlinks to email addresses are slightly different than hyperlinks to website addresses in the way that we compose them. Similar practice though, we go ahead and highlight the phrase and I can go up to insert. I could have also inserted a hyperlink up here, but I'm going to insert email link. I could do it here or alternately I could do it down here in my link area. Same same thing. If I click on email link, what's easy about this is that it shows me the text that's going to be the link and in this case Dreamweaver is smart enough to figure out that that's going to be the same kind of um, address in there as well. So I'm going to click OK and that's done. I'm going to go ahead and save my page. Now in terms of testing this quite frankly it's a little bit tougher not that you can't but if I go back here and I refresh or F5 my page if I were to click on this, it would invoke my local email client, which means that perhaps Outlook or Outlook Express might come up. And that would give me a visual or a clue that that indeed was correctly formatted. However, I personally don't use those for my email. Therefore, my email is not set up on my local computer, and my computer would simply get confused. So I'm going to have to trust that that indeed is correct in terms of having set up my email. So for the moment those are the basic hyperlinking features and I'm going to come back to you here in a minute and show you how to change those colors. Hang on.